one too. Ooh, oh, God. Julie's are great. Julie's Julie. with a flashbang are good. Most minus EV play in Counter Strike. It's gonna be a little patient with the trigger finger. Then we go. There's the flashbang. That's what I'm talking about. Two headshots, oh and he's got information as well from somewhere. He sees a knee by the coffins and falls back to hold map control as his team rotates up banana. I think that's the most cool. Mess trying to bait for Alex, hoping that Fnatic might not clear it. But he does waste a lot of time here, but now I think it's going to be very difficult here for Alex to get away with the round win here. It's not going to happen. Fnatic with the first pistol round on Inferno, second map of the series. The, the bomb down there is so nice because just keeping the pressure on your opponent to apps and top mid. And there we go, just charging through the mollies. And unfortunately for Cloud9. For C9, tries to smoke off the molly in the mid. You see the utility that Fnatic ended up buying for this round, expecting obviously a C9 buy with the pack. Oh boy. Wow, damage is being done here though. Just gets two kills though, and from a from a round that was... Yeah, yeah, it's looking uh, pretty nice here for Mez. He actually gets his way top mid, obviously, as part of the, the low. In this Ooh. It's kind of... I mean, Fnatic have a lot of info. They had Crimson Apartments. Mezzi takes him down. That's huge. That gives an opportunity here for Cloud9 to easily just... They, I mean, you can see it. They just charge straight back to the A side. They know that uh, Fnatic will have to make a desperate and quick rotation. They don't get the best positions because they had such little time to adjust to this. And Brolin can't even turn around. He can't even set up on the site. Uh, this is always oh, actually going to go. He's going to try to kill the plant, though, wasn't he? S tag though with the cover, able to help him out, deal with that one. It's, it's going to be scary for Fnatic too, because I I bet that Fnatic were not expecting to run into some of the firepower and the, the sheer resistance. They breathe into that B site, and this is not good right now for Fnatic because they're allowing to just fully execute here, doing it as they've probably done it, you know, hundreds of times, drilling it as a team, and they get everything they want. It's five versus four, although construction is still, well, it's partially held on to. I mean, we do have Brolin fairly close, but they should Robin again, is that they, they would they would really play this passive style. They're the best at playing like a passive defensive style, um, where you have to kind of make really good game reads. The banana area can be taken. Early round, mid round, late round for information. Golden goes down again through the smoke. Happened last round as well. To really push anywhere and puts him in this position again. It's a full of blown execute from C9 here now. Jakini actually does end up getting the first kill here now, so they do make this a little bit better in terms of hold. I can see that full position is a real problem, but Fnatic are able to hold for the time being and really slow things down. JW on Banana. It's going to be needed soon. S tag looking for a rotation. JW's closer to the point of contention. Misses the flick, but still alive for now. Flashbang. Go for the quick scope or the no scope. Either one. Doesn't work. And now that bomb could make its way towards the A bomb site, but it's going to be tight. 10 seconds. Oh, I don't no think way. he's got it, to be honest. I don't, yeah, there's no way, is there? He's not going to make it. Oh, he's three and a half seconds. Out nope. of time. Just one second too slow. Oh, Wait, what? hold on what? a second. What? It's okay, a this his clock was something else entirely. What's that bomb? It's like floating in the air. Oh my god, Prolan is going to annihilate him. Uh, that was really close though. Man. Oh man. Smoke here. You can make the argument that they want to take banana control instead first. They creep their way up here. Jakinyo gets the first one though. See the new kid in action. Oh, he actually he in the the That's not what you want to see. Maybe a bit Ooh, of, uh, you know, I was going to say inexperienced, but obviously we talked about knowing the map. I think it's a little bit unlucky there at the same time. Ball stuck, ball stuck. Well, it gets two there and bombs down in mid. Yeah, this tag wasn't expecting GW to get pop in with the spray in CT, which leaves Mezzi alone now. He has so many people to frag and the bomb's down in the middle of mid. I can't see him getting the bomb and getting back to a site in time. So time pressure might be a little too much on this occasion. Indeed, has a W everywhere. Yeah, again, we've seen some teams throw mollies towards that ball area to stop the teams from taking his headshot positions. On this occasion, Fnatic is still managing to hold on to everything. There's a molly from CT into that exact position. Comes late, but um, still absolutely fine for them. Fnatic yeah, have everything. Yeah, I like it. They kind of did this before as well. Oh, it's a nice trade from Mezzi. He is so good at the burst. And that He's very crispy. Oh, there's a quick smoke. Alex straight through with Zappa as well. They are just full rushing the side at the moment. It's actually working out, getting the entries they need, and really catching Fnatic. It seems 
not in the timing that they were really feeling, and the bomb goes down. A four versus three here for Cloud9. They have some good post pump positioning. They've got apps, they've got pit, they've got sight, so that they're in pretty good shape here, all things considered, given that this was a a half buy. And Fnatic, they don't have a lot of money built up just yet, so this would be devastating to lose a round like this and lose all of their players, but they're gonna go for it. Crims will take down this tank. That's apartments taken controller. Alex though able to catch the key on the side and finish off golden as well. So they're gonna hold that with the four versus three of the I style. Agree. The style's always been strong. Even when Golden was brought in, you know, I was worried that they would lose some of their touch as well, but they've really much kept it. Yes. On that, a lot of with Crimson JW obviously being the core two that's still here. Cloud talking and Cloud9 is executing. Four on two though, trying to get Messi down in pit. It's a bit of a fake. Walking into the B bomb side here. Alex and S attack left. He does go into pool here as tag, so never say never. Alex does have the smoke for spawn also. And a nice flashbang, and absolutely that's going to open up the map. You would argue here for Jaquinho being a four on two. You want to play more defensive. Ooh. Don't give them an opportunity to win the round. Golden. Fantastic job there on Azatek. Shots. He removed that Red Bull logo. It kind of looks like he worked with SpaceX. Oh my god, it's a possibility now. Oh, through the Molotov, there's a smoke up as well. And he eats a flash. Oh he's my god! With the knife, Golden. Oh, he's actually done enough, or has he? Oh, he can't find it! Oh my god, what's oh, going he's just on? Got it. Don't move your mouse! He has it. Yeah, yeah, easy oh. peasy. My god. Oh. Smokes are into the choke points and they're wrapping on the slide, but there is still a crossfire on Sports for Fnatic. 15 seconds and they're holding for now, but the numbers are eventually going to overwhelm them. 10 seconds as there's a peak from Library, a missed shot from Alex, but there is utility for Cloud9 to create some space. Their pace a lot, and that's a good example as to like why that's important because it got to a timing where um, Fnatic would for their damage, but look at the utility here. They essentially force Fnatic to waste everything they have. It's just a flashback that can you might see a pop flash at that. As I say that though, I'm not a fan <laughs> of shooting through the smokes in general, especially when you go towards this B-bomb site. They have a lot of nades though, but we've seen this again and again from C9. They just like to walk in instead. And because oh. of that, they get both. Oh dear, oh dear. I gotta say, like it's a very it's a very basic thing with any team, like flashing for each other and so on, but it's a fundamental which gives so much power to Cloud9, like when they use it. They really do follow up on those flashbangs so often. There's a ding and a dong from Crims and uh, maybe there's a last round and it's to be had yet for Fnatic. Then again, maybe not because Floppy has a superior angle. There's a crouch peak with a French gun from Brolan though. Sound cues heard by Mezzi, who's on the flank. Very quietly on the way. Brolin should have the spatial awareness that he could be being flanked. He'll be busy deploying grenades, and it will be the eighth round for... Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. I'm not sure um, if they can hear us. That's why I don't want to talk. Yeah, I didn't want to talk over the it's cat. It's not either. even like stealing the post as the normal bell cam. One with nades. Yeah, he's going to smoke off one side. We're going to see an expo flash here. Here we go. Here's the timing on that as well. Fnatic is mm. out. A the bomb's in short. Short. Yeah, the bomb's in short. Fnatic had a very aggressive positioning here, or rather C9 are very aggressive positioning, but I can't believe that it's actually paying off for Fnatic anyway. Just the fact that bomb was dropped in short kind of oh. prevents it. Brutal headshots from JW leaves Alex with 9 HP. That's a very nice one tap, but he needs a few more of those. You're making the argument of saving armor as well if you're there by your lone stuff. It does have a purpose. From Fnatic. All right, we got uh, aggression. Uh, top banana will be dealt with quite. This is still risky here for Fnatic. There's no kit on C9, but there's full armor and pistols as well. Two flashbangs, so this could be a pop flash. Very, very difficult situation to be in here for Fnatic. Positioning wise as well, they're all stuck on the bomb site. We're expecting or looking for some trade games here, and here we go. This is scary. Two players hiding in the smoke as well. They can't really help each other because they can't see anything. And this will surely be a slaughter for Jaquinho as well, but they're lining up for the great burst from Jaquinho, oh. but he can't quite get to the last player. And there will be time for the defuse. That got really weird real quick. It's a new kid on the block here from Fnatic, getting away with a one versus a three. Man, yeah, spots nobody up in mid. Just off to go for an execute instead and roll on with the SMG. That's a really good job there. 
getting the bomb stop, and Sapa still Ooh. here with the MP7. Almost gets the third, but forced to reload now. He should be going down, and he does. Two versus two now. Keeps Cloud9 in that round, Sapa. Let's tag. Crab walking around the corner. TW pulling out the MAC-10. Close range. Could... Just down to the MAC-10 now. Really running the clock down. There's the wide swing with the MAC-10. Moving accuracy is good enough. Oh my god, s -Tag just keeps on pushing. That's insane. Out there. But a uh, very strange one. However, here's what it is. There's a dink from Floppy and a follow-up with the French gun. Meanwhile, there's a push from what remains of Fnatic into this B bomb site. Alex and S tag dropped. And the rest of Cloud9 have got to rotate from the A bomb site. Crimson post up with AWP. One of two now. Ooh. As JW is still in play. Just well, the one flash. One that feels like a save, but they're going to go for it into the double orbs. They don't yeah. have anything to do with the orbs. They're kind of in between committing and not. It, you know, bad, bad things really, really happen. Crimson JW there. Looks like they're getting it a bit for free again. We see C9, same time team holding the nades, but Fnatic here just walking through apps. Alex is still there though. Oh man, that could have been an actual double there, but full on brawl. This is just a mid round that play that came into play. Not really intended, but when you get the first kill there onto Messi, Brawlon just obviously finds an opening to go. Oh, have oh, a look at this. Said, yeah, this is a nice little round here from Fnatic. Yeah, Crims is making his way towards the banana position and, and the B bomb site. Ultimately, there was a pause based on those sound cues from Golden, but once they realized that both plays are dead, a full rotation going to come through. They'll never be expecting him to be on site that fast. Floppy down for free. Zephyr 4 HP. And it looks like. Be at the end there, but it comes from a rotate from C9, probably spotting the bomb used by all five members. But it's still only two members here from C9. Alex, I was gonna say he needs to get the first. Gets flashed here now though. Goes down by Jaquinho. Messi is still here though. There's a full trade game going on, but it's three on three. And Fnatic now has the bomb side. Bomb is yet to be planted though. Was dropped, but here we should see it. Bomb going down. There is still some nades here left for C9 and a kit on Sapa. So retake is definitely going to happen. As I say that though, S-Tag goes down and you make the argument here now of Sure, it's 14 to 9, but maybe you should save anyway. Well, they got a problem with that. Yeah. Angle can be taken by that, but although it just goes from bad to worse, doesn't it? Or Fnatic. Oh, that felt like it was another kill there for Alex. Oh, everything's on a nice edge at the moment, but fortunately for Cloud9, they're going to find there is a very strong defense here. There's, this should not be breakable. And it's looking good. Yeah, really this round sort of died on Banana. Yeah, it was a change of pace at least from C9. I like that. With the first boost, but Alex gets the AWP and getting two kills with that. Very active, gets the first kill on Banana. Especially when it's Cloud9. Wow, Crim's going to make life even more difficult, but he is standing between a barbecue to his front and back, and the AWP will come. And despite the fact that it's been a bit of a fight there, C9 opts to just leave s -Type by his lonesome there towards that B bomb site. And Jaquinho again here. This is what we normally like to see from Fnatic. They get a kill, and they just have the one guy that just ends up going for it. Opens up the map completely here. Jaquinho almost gets a third, but he's done enough. And this is a really difficult spot to be in if you're as a tag. One on three, you're still in banana. No nades left as well, and JW is still holding down here as well. Sure, you're going to go down. I'm not going to say this over here. Difficult spot to be in as well. Yeah, you get an even more of a tag here now. Looks like we should be going to a third, but we'll see. Maybe it's a little bit of a nice flicker from as a tag, but no time left either. It's gonna, that's going to do. It's 16-10.